With the NBA free agency wrapping up, many players in the league have new contracts. Most players look like they are being overpaid this upcoming season, but some look like bargains. Let's take a look at the best bargains from the 2018 NBA free agency. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another video, let's get into it. Number 5, Julius Randle. The New Orleans Pelicans signed Randle on a 2 year deal worth a total of $18 million. For 9 million a year, they are getting a starting level power forward to pair alongside Anthony Davis. Randle is an above average to good player who scores 16.1 points per game and grabbed 8 rebounds per game in the 2017 NBA season. Along with his high production, he is an efficient shooter shooting 55% from the field. He is also a young player being only 23 years old. With him being paid outside the top 100 salaries, his deal definitely looks like a low risk with a high reward with the contract going to right before his prime. Number 4. Dwight Howard With Dwight being traded to the Nets and being bought out, a playoff team had a chance to get a big man for a great price. The Wizards capitalized and signed him to a 2 year $11 million deal. This provided them a paint protector who can also grab 12 boards and put up 16 points a night. For the mid-level exception, the Wizards are getting a quality big man who could easily go for 10 million or more elsewhere. This also gave the team more flexibility to move Gortat and fill up other needs. If he's able to reproduce his production with the Hawks or the Hornets, this deal will look like a huge bargain. Number 3. Clint Capella The Houston Rockets just assigned their best paint defender for 5 years 90 million. You might think how is $90 million a bargain, but for his production and age, it is a good deal. He is right now 24 years old, meaning this contract will carry him until he's 29 into his prime. He is already crucial to the Rockets defense and puts up 14 points and 11 boards a game. Plus he led the league in field goal percentage, meaning he is highly efficient. He also had the 14th highest player efficiency rating out of everyone that played more than 10 games. He has about the 60th highest salary, so for his productivity and value, this deal will be looked back on as a huge bargain, especially as he hits his prime. Number 2. Isaiah Thomas Isaiah Thomas has fallen a lot since he was in the MVP discussion in 2017. A lot of teams were unwilling to take a risk on him and pay him the bring trucks he said he wanted. He ended up with a minimum deal worth $2.2 million to the Denver Nuggets. For $2.2 million, the Nuggets are definitely getting a good deal. He puts up about 15 points a game and 5 assists a game last season. Someone coming off an injury that is definitely good production. He did struggle with efficiency, but that was because he was constantly traded and never found a rhythm. If he's even to be able to half the production of the Boston Celtics IT, the Nuggets will have definitely got a quality player for nothing. Number 1. DeMarcus Cousins The move that ruined the league. He joined the Golden State Warriors on a one-year deal worth $5.3 million, the mid-level exception. He won't be coming back till the second half of the year, but you have to remember, when he is healthy, he is the best signer in the league. He feels the Warriors' only weakness, a big man who can cover the paint. This move might be only in a year, and he might not be the same when he comes back, but for someone who can get a max contract while he is healthy, this is pennies on the dollar. So even if he is half the production, or he's not be able to put up the stats he did have with the New Orleans Pelicans, he will definitely be worth it. That is the top 5 bargains of the 2018 NBA free agency. At the end of the year, most of these deals will be looked back as great signings by the front office. Thanks for watching, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post. I'm out. Man, work on. Um.